Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Hammer Podcast. Today is January 15th, 2021, and I'm speaking with Jordan. Jordan went to the Agape Boys Ranch in 2010. He's going to share our story, his story today. So, Jordan, the floor is yours, my friend. You go right ahead. Um, my name is Jordan Sharp. Um, I was in Agape at, um, in 2010, I believe, to around like 2011. Um, well, what led me to Agape was I was messing up in school. I was, uh, got kicked off the football team. I was big into football. So, um, before I made it to Agape, I uh, went to military school. Um, in Salina, uh, Kansas. So I went out there uh, for a few months. I was getting in trouble over there, and then they sent me to Agape. And that's how I got to Agape. Uh, what I remember from Agape is uh, my the intake room, uh, which we call it the Paddy's Palace. <laughs> the Paddy's Palace. Yes. You know? <laughs> it's like a, a room. It's blue, padded all over. Um, when I got there, they stripped me from everything. I had a whole bunch of like um, food and snacks and you know stuff that my mother sent me when I was in the military program. They stripped me from everything. Uh, they they put on they gave me um, I think it's yellow. I'm not too sure. I think it's orange. I think it's orange first. Then it's yellow. Then it's burgundy. Then it's red. If I'm not right, um, if I remember, um, did they shave your head? Yeah, they shaved my head. Well, my head was already uh, shaved because of the military school, but they shaved my head. Um, they used to like mess people's heads up and give them patches, <laughs> just so you know people walk around with patches looking crazy. Um, <laughs> that was that was crazy. Um, as well as um, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Um, how 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 did your how did your parents find out about agape? I have no idea to this day. My mother haven't told me how she found out about agape, so it's still like a mystery to me. I guess the military school I was in sent me over. probably probably in cahoots with them because I know that uh, there was one guy that got sent from Missouri uh, uh, military school there, yeah. and agape has ties with them. I guess the the people that act up in those military schools yeah agape will tell them okay we'll just bring them over here we'll take care of them oh my goodness yeah so they got they got their fingers in a bunch of pies so yeah you said this was kansas where they had the military school yeah kansas salina kansas all right i went over there then i came over to um agape are you um, are, are your are your parents religious are they baptists are they christian christian okay yeah a any type of denomination uh, no. no, no, like a non-denominational, basically, mm. something like that. Uh, I don't know what that is. Can you break it down to me a little non -denominational, bit? Non-denominational, uh, they're like Pentecostals, Evangelicals. No, I don't, no, I don't think, okay. Because right normally, I mean, it's agape is passed through word of mouth. You know what I mean? Yes. It's at a church, they'll say, "Hey, you know, you want to send them to agape." It's it's agape is Baptist. Yeah. So, yeah. They try to sell the big church theme and everything. It's not. Yeah. It at all. Yeah. <laughs> They're not all so, they cracked up to be. Yeah. It's yeah. like a lockdown school. You can say it's depressing. Oh yeah. You, know, you don't get to see sunlight. Like they they make sure when you walk, it sh the shades is down so you don't get to peek outside. You know. So. Well, we wouldn't was, want you to have any happiness. Jordan. Yeah. Yeah. You can't talk. They don't tell you that. There's no talking at all. If you talk or they catch you talking, you're going no talking. I was basically always in trouble when I was there. I was always on uh, no talking. Uh, when I got there, I think they had brown for a little bit. Then they stopped brown for a while. Then they started it up. Um, the wall, um, I think I made the wall, to be honest. I don't know anybody else if they had it before, but <laughs> I remember me, the only person on the wall. So, you know. Yeah. That's what yeah. I remember. So how, how how was your first day like? When you get there, you get your head shaved. They, you know, all the orientation process. They, uh, my first day, I actually came at nighttime. Okay. So I came in when everybody was in the dorm. 
Um, what I remember is it's cold, cold, dead quiet. If you drop a pen, you can hear it. Um, I remember people on the floor. They had, they had people on the floor, Indian style. They look very sad. People hanging off the bed, looking, trying to see who I am. Um, sizing you up, yeah. Yeah, sizing <laughs> me up. Basically, I didn't really sleep that night at all. I slept on my back the whole night, and I didn't really sleep. Uh, I remember me waking up. The lights, the lights is on. Uh, somebody, I'm on the top bunk. Somebody's underneath me, which was my guy. He wakes me up and say, "Hey, you gotta get up, and get attention." And uh, I believe we're supposed to corner our beds. Yeah, that's what I remember. We corner our beds, make up our bed, then we go into the bay and change and stuff like that. Take showers. Or, not, I don't think take showers in the morning, but you know, use the bathroom, brush your teeth, and get ready for the day. Right. Well, they, I guess they wanted that military crease on the beds. Yeah, which, which was no problem for you because you just came from a military school. Yeah, it didn't, it didn't really bother me. <laughs> it didn't bother me. I kind of want to show it off too. Like, hey, I know, you know. Bounce the penny but, off the, off yeah. the bed, you know, yeah. Or a quarter. I think it's a quarter. They they say. So you get there. Uh, everything's yeah. going pretty smooth. I guess you you've had a chance to meet Brian or Julio. Yeah. Yeah. I met, I met I'm sorry. A, uh, I, <laughs> I met a, uh, I was there for a while. I was just like in a, like a different realm, you could say. I was super depressed when I first got there. And um, I didn't speak to my mom. I think it's like every two weeks your mother gets to call you or your parents get to call you. Um, and if you like uh, get in trouble, they take away the privilege to uh, for, your, for your parents to talk to you. So, uh, yeah. Right there should have been a red flag. You know what I mean? Yeah. 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 So. Um, when you when you did talk to them though on the phone that you had somebody right there watching you of course yeah yeah they they make sure that you don't say like you hate agape or you saying anything like anything that right. like belittle them you know right it's bad for so, business um, yeah so you got to say yeah i'm having fun or you know if not then you go to no talking or you go to brown you know then yeah. everybody needs to seem so bad, like, oh, you go to Brown Town, you work out all day, and you know, you get easily you get restraint. So that was like a big scare. They they used like a big scare tactic when I was in there. Did you ever get restrained? Yeah, I got restrained. For two hours. Two hours. Two hours. Worst you, pain of my life. Do you remember who restrained you? Uh I know Brother Jackson. Uh I think Julio. Um, I think he had my head. Julio had my head. Brother Jackson had my arm. Uh, it was another military guy. He was kind of quiet, deep voice. I forgot his name. He was on my other arm. It was uh, another fat, tall, like, uh, I don't know if I'm, if I'm going to say a racial slur, but he's like Mexican or something. Like, he was on my legs, you know. Uh, what led me up there is like, I'm from the city, you know. Um, mm -hmm. I was there with a whole bunch of California people and stuff. You know, city is like, you have like um, a little attitude, I guess, you know? Right. And I came back from military schools. So I was already worked out. I was already kind of buff, you know, and I was playing football out there. So I was, you know, fit. Um, I remember, I think it was like somebody had a visit. Um, somebody had a visit. And when people have visits, you're supposed to be on your best behavior. I was already on no talking. So um, they always picked on me. I don't know what it was. They always picked on me, but it was just like, they do your eight counts. I'm like, all right. I get up and I'm like, you want to give me more? And I do more, you know? So um, they had me doing eight counts the whole time um, at lunchtime. I didn't eat lunch. So they just had me doing it the whole time. Um, they got, I guess, eventually they got tired of me and just have like my attitude. And they were just like, you know what, come with me. So it was like, they escort me to the palace, the padded palace. So, uh, when I got in there, um, they told me stand at attention. I heard already about the uh, the restraints. Oh, when you get in the room, they tell me my friend got restrained before. He told me when you get in the room, just go on the floor. You know, uh, don't let them throw you around on the wall because they're gonna really mess you up. So right. they told me do my eight counts. I was scared to move. Um, I remember the quiet military guy, man. I forgot his name. But I remember him with a chair, and I, no lie, he came over with me with the chair and broke the chair on me. Holy I was gonna shit. fall, you know? 
Yeah, this is crazy. I, I nobody experienced what I experienced. I I don't believe. Uh, he broke the chair over me. I leaned over. I was like uh, out of breath. I was leaning over to fall. They was like, "Hey, if you fall, you know we gonna restrain you." So you know. I got back up. I had to show that I was tough. You know, I had my little smirk on my face not to, you know what I'm saying? Like, right. guys, not gonna, you know, you're not going to face so me. They, yeah. Yeah. So yeah. they told me to uh, do my eight counts. I didn't do my eight counts. They told me like three times to do it. Like the third time I eventually like, you know what, let me just do it. Cause you know, so when I did the first eight count, I did the jumping jack. They, t they yelled out, he's swinging. So, Oh my goodness. Yeah. So what I did was what my friend told me to do was, dive on the floor. So I dive on the floor. Everybody dived on me, right? Restraints is just supposed to be like somebody holding you down, right? What they don't tell you at the program is that a restraint is they put your arm like in like a chicken wing phase and then they put your neck right here. So you're on the floor down and your neck is there. I remember Julio on my head going down, smashing my head, rubbing into my temple. Uh, the guy's punching my arm. Each of them had a limb. So right. one had my head, one had my arm. The big guy that one had my arm. The big guy had my leg because he's so big he can just roll over and just you know. Uh, so yeah, they did the pressure point for two hours for two hours, and they told me if you scream that it's going to be longer. Um, that's the worst pain I ever felt in my life. I'm uh, to this day everybody when I tell my parents and I tell other people about the program, they probably just think that I'm lying, but I'm not lying, man. This is no. this really two hours. Two hours of pain. My arm still gets numb to this day. My legs still fall asleep to this day easily, you know? Yeah. Uh, that was just crazy. Um, Had scabs on my head, you know? I remember yeah. me getting up. They finally, like, how I got through it is they was talking to each other, kind of, you know? And my arms and legs fell numb already. So they started talking. That's how I got over it uh, when they was doing it. But um, I remember me getting up and me crying. And he's saying, you know, like, uh, thank you. Thank you so much for, like, bring, like, lifting me up, you know, and just, like, stopping, you know. I try to give one of them a hug. They push me. I'm like, yeah, get off me. So I'm like, wow. So, you know, I stand at attention. I remember, I remember me going up the steps and, like, it's dead quiet again. Like, when I first walked in and everybody's just looking at me and I couldn't walk. Yeah. I couldn't walk at all. Um, I was, like, um... I couldn't walk. My legs was all messed up. My arms, they put me in the corner. They put me into isolation for myself the rest of the time I was there. Um, that's that's just bullshit, man. Yeah. To tell you yeah. to, to do the jumping jacks and now he's starting to... Oh, man. Yeah. And they, they, call, they, and, and they call themselves Christians. What the hell's wrong with them? No, no, no. That's just just, just a, like a lie, I believe. Like, that's just a phase to... It's all about money, man, I believe. Oh, I've been saying that for years. It's all about the money. Uh, I yeah. remember I, I have like ever, nobody ever told about the time that somebody got stabbed there. Nobody ever told about that. I don't believe so. There was some, yeah. uh, some really nasty stuff going on over there, but you, uh, you, you yeah, you probably yeah. don't believe me, but I swear whoever, whoever know me, Jordan Sharp, this is my name. If they remember me, they're going to say that I, this is actual facts. Oh, I, I, I believe it. I mean, a lot of the stuff the guys went through, I've, I've done podcasts on about 15 or 16 agape guys, ranging from the time when they opened, which was, I believe, 1990, to now. And all their stories, they they jive. You know what I mean? They jive together. Yeah. They all yeah. coincide together. How can they be lying? You know what I mean? They don't, they haven't, they've never met know. each other. <laughs> they do, I don't know. Everybody think I'm crazy or I'm making up this story or... Or it's all in my head. It's not in my no. head. I, I could tell you. Go ahead. Many I could tell you um about um, Aragapes. Anybody ever talked about Aragapes? Aragapes, yes. <laughs> yeah, I used to always have Aragapes. They give you like big shoes. Say if you're size six, they give you a size 12 and a size 14. Cut the tongues out. The old clown shoes. Yeah. yeah, clown <laughs> shoes. I, I had those. Um, workouts. Everybody ever told you about the workouts? Yes. Like, I remember one time, um, I one time I don't know what happened. It was two guys that that was watching us. It was like an older guy. You get to mess around a little bit and you know talk a little bit when he's there because he's more lenient. But it was another guy. Um, I forgot his name, man. He had 
I forgot his name, but uh, he was there. I know I got in trouble again. I'm always in trouble, you know, when I was there because I guess I was like, uh, I don't know. I just wasn't like, I didn't feel like this was for me, you know, right. like the place was for me. I had to find a way out or find a way to, you know, I don't know. to Just basically act up so badly that they're going to say, we can't handle this guy. Let's, no, let's just get rid of him, basically. I wasn't really acting up because of, of the restraints. I was so scared of the restraints. Oh, okay. But, uh, yeah, um, um, remember what time I got slapped in there? I got slapped by um, a staff member, whoever was there, they know. I got slapped by a staff member. Um, I started like going off, going crazy and stuff. He called back up. Um, they waking up everybody now. I remember a kid getting slammed off the top bunk off his bed because he didn't wake up in time. They kicking people over, rolling people over off their, their bunks and stuff working people out a lot of people was like you know there's there's young young kids in there there's like obese kids in there you know so they can't do like certain workouts so i remember like if they can't do the eight counts then you got to start all over again because he messed up on the eight counts you know um he was ba they were basically punishing the whole the whole the group whole, yeah. for one person yeah. yeah yeah so um yeah it's, it's that's that's totally uncalled i mean you know it, you got, you know, somebody like you who's got, uh, you know, who's, who's built pretty good, you know, as opposed to somebody who is chubby, chunky, yeah. fat, whatever. Or just like scrawny, you know. Right. Just... They can't do the same amount of stuff as you can. You know what I mean? Yeah. And for them to 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 punish the whole group for something that one Crazy. person did, that's 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 uncalled for. So, that's yeah. Crazy. Did they ever withheld, uh, withhold water from you? Uh, water at um, nighttime, I believe. At nighttime, like once you once you in bed, you can't go to bed. I remember if you have to use the bathroom at um, when you uh, go downstairs to go to sleep, you can't just get up and use the bathroom. If you get up and use the bathroom, you have to wake up at like five o'clock. No. They sit in attention for like an hour while everybody else is sleeping. I guess that's a punishment. Um, food punishments. Anybody ever told you about leftovers? Yeah, so they said something about uh, if you didn't eat it, your food, then they would just wrap it up and serve it to you the next day. Yeah, the next day, and if you don't eat it, they keep serving it to you until until you yeah. eat it. Oh. Yeah, that's terrible. So now you said something about a stabbing. Yes. Go ahead and elaborate on that. Uh, I guess it was a fight. Um earlier that day or the day before or something there was a new guy uh-huh um i guess somebody jumped in and tried to help him out because he was washing his face or something and somebody you know um so i remember just being on no talking and for some reason i'm like you're supposed to look at your bible but you know i right. kind of got used to it and no code like i can look up without them really noticing a little bit uh, i remember him walking and um Remember him shaking his sleeve, right? I'm like, why are you shaking his sleeve for? But he just pulled out like a fart and started just like, he went after the kid and started stabbing the kid. Nobody ever told you about that? No. No. It's crazy. Were you there with uh, Frazier, Jay Frazier? Uh, if, I, if I see a picture of him, I can probably know who you're talking about. Okay. How about uh, a guy named Sevilla? Sevilla, no. No, okay. They were there around around that time, and you were there. Yeah. So, but yeah. So d did uh, did the staff members break up the the fight or? Yeah, yeah. They broke up the fight. Um. Then they 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 put the kid by himself. Like only no guys or nobody's watching him. Just the staff is watching him. After that. What about, so that, what about what about the kid that was stabbed? Uh, I guess he. I I don't really know. I think he was just. I think he went to the hospital. Or, no matter of fact, I don't know what happened okay. to the to the, To be honest, I'm not gonna say it a lot. I don't really remember, but I remember that moment right there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So. Oh. Place sounds worse in jail. Yeah, I believe it's worse than jail. It's no talking at all 
you have to like kind of like not move your mouth if you want to talk to somebody it's like cold like hey what's yeah. up what's going on like you can't move your lip like it's 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 more to it than what i'm saying you know it's like it's just like a ventriloquist you kind of talk yeah. like without moving your lips yeah yeah, like it, it, it's it's a lot more to it. It just it just a lot of things just run through my mind when I think of agape. You know, it's just like so much things. Remember one time, uh, they ha did you know they have a boxing ring in agape? Yes, yes. A couple of guys talked about that, but I never knew they had a boxing ring in agape. They had uh, how I find out about the boxing ring is crazy. I'm gonna tell you this. Uh, you know, I told you I was, I'm, I'm from New York, so, you know, it's like I'm Mr. Tough Guy, and they don't like that, you know? So they, uh, they I remember a guy named Broomfield. He was a big, nice-sized guy. Um, they told me and Broomfield to come into the gym. Me and Broomfield, they gave us boxing gloves and made me and Broomfield fight until we couldn't fight anymore, until we started swinging at each other, and they just... It's like, hey, if you guys stop swinging at each other, then we're going to restrain you, you know? Uh, so that was the first fight that they made me. Like, I feel like they, like, had, like, a, I don't know, like, it was like a dog fight for them, you know? And they were just, like, they got pumped off it. So, like, I guess another kid was acting tough. So they was like, oh, since he dealt with him before, let's see him deal. They took me upstairs to the boxing ring and then had his fight on the boxing ring. I remember picking up rocks. Outside, the only time that you go outside and you pick up rocks and you carry it from like from here to the to the end of the football field, like I don't know what that was about. That was the only time that I really went outside. I went outside like probably like three times when I was in Agape, probably four times when I was in Agape. It was crazy, you know. They were making all the all the the students do all the manual labor, yeah. Uh, so they didn't have to hire contractors. The the, the kids built everything. Yeah. So save more money in their pockets, basically. Yeah. You know, so so they could drive around in their fancy cars and live in their nice houses. Yeah. So it's a typical typical uh, religious organization. <laughs> like you said, it's all about the money. It's all about it is, the money. They just know. use that to to you know what, to get people. What about say. what about your uh, your 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 schooling? You used the ACE pace, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Which <laughs> the school schooling? I wasn't really like. They they didn't really teach you. You're supposed to do it by yourself. So how do you supposed to learn from yourself? I don't understand that. You, yeah. you learn from the the book, and you're supposed to. I don't know. I wasn't really into the school thing. I just yeah it was always in trouble. So I always <laughs> used to work out all the time. So it's just like hey, you know. Yeah. The, those pay those uh. Pace books, they look more like comic books than anything else. They really yeah. didn't, they really didn't, you really didn't learn anything off and of people, it. And people used to cheat. Oh, yeah. It's easy to cheat. You know, just keep going up and check your answers. <laughs> and each time you go, you just change your answer and got it, and there you go. Wow. What kind of schooling are they doing over there, man? I had to no work school. hard for my schooling. <laughs> yeah. No, <it's laughs> no cheating no there. School. But I think, I think basically, um, they probably will let you do that just to kind of make you somewhat comfortable. I mean, these guys, Julio, Brian, uh, Jim, all these other staff members. I, now, not all the staff members are bad. You know, it's some, like some, probably two or three. Yeah. Some not of them, the whole bunch that I went there with. <laughs> some know. of them truly wanted to help, you know, but but the, these guys like Julio and, and Brian especially. Uh, Brian, he was he was like the director's son. Yeah, from what I heard, he's the adopted son. So he's not exactly he's a, like He looked like kind of like a baby, kind of. Yeah. Like, uh, yeah, yeah, that guy's like the devil, man. The Jurassic, el so, Jurassic Elbow. He talk, he talked so nice and sweet to you, but he would just, you know? Yeah. Julio's another one. He, 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 he used to, he, he's kind of, you know, he's built. Oh, yeah. So he used to push around kids and do all type of stuff. Yeah, Julio's a, yeah, that's a that's a real him. that's a real tough guy right there pushing around kids that are kids twenty years is yeah. younger than him. Yeah, yeah, that's a tough guy. But yeah, these guys these guys are sadists, man. They take pleasure in in beating people up. I mean, that's what they do. You know, I don't know why they take pleasure in the misery of others. 
This I, I personally I think this is something fucked up in the head, man. You know, there the are, whole place is just weird. It's like a boondocks. It's once you're in, you're in. You don't see. I never saw like a police officer. I never saw paramedics. When I was there, it's just the staff. Right. The most you see is probably like the the uh, the kids or something like on Wednesdays or Sundays. That's church, and you see like the other. Like, oh yes. Theater. Yeah, the wings of faith. Yep. Yeah. But you couldn't look at them. You couldn't. Yeah, not at all. You look at them, you get in trouble. You can. You can. And that's it. Yeah. That's it. Just God, a quick little look. Like, hey, yeah. Hey, yeah. Like, hey, the girl over there. That's my girlfriend. Don't look at her. <laughs> like, it's right. Weird. Yeah. But hey, you at least you had the staff members' wives to look at. <laughs> yeah, they, they was horrible as well. <laughs> they was horrible. Oh. I talked to a, a couple of guys the other day about that, the, some agape guys in this. I said, you know, I think that the staff, the, the staff members, you know, they they purposely paraded their wives in front of you guys. You to to get mean? a, uh, yeah. Just to see how you would react, you know. I mean, you know. I remember one time a staff told me that too, like, hey, don't don't you dare ever look at. And my wife, like, yeah, what? yeah, like, well, I'm not even looking anyway. Or if you look too long at a stop, like, I'm not really good at like looking at people to this day. I always look up and I look down or I look around. Cause when I was there, they always used to say, "Oh, you mad dogging me? You mad dogging me?" Like, I'm not. Yeah, you, you get what I'm saying. So I used to always put yeah. the head down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I still carry the trait to this day. God, they need to be shut down, man. It, it mess you up mentally, man. No, there's no outside. You, when you come back from outside, agape, it's like jail. When you come back from 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 agape, you don't know anything. I didn't know yeah. the music. I didn't know nothing. You know, so I had to start all the way over. Oh, especially with your schooling. I mean, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially with my schooling, you I got out because the pace. I got out. It's like I got left back. Yeah, it's like the whole time I was there it was a waste. Yeah, the you know? pace. The pace program is unaccredited. So let's say you know, even if you had spent four years there once you get out you're going to be four years behind because they regular public like schools are not going to take it yeah yeah uh, the, their diploma okay. their diploma is shit for one thing it's like i said it's not accredited if you try to go to college with that diploma unless it's jack hiles of course if you go to jack hiles they'll take it but any other college or university they're not going to take your diploma you know it's unaccredited Crazy. you're screwed you know, yeah. their, their, their main thing was how much money can we soak out of your family? Out of these people. And then they say that it's so godly and they're doing good or they misbehave right now. I don't know. They told my mom so many lies. I haven't spoke since when I, the time that I got restraint, I haven't spoke to my mom in like two months. And I guess she got like nervous and was like, hey, how come I haven't spoke to him? And when I finally spoke to my mom, I said, fuck that shit. Sorry. Excuse my language. Oh, no, that's said, fine. Like, this isn't a Christian I'm, podcast, Jordan. Go ahead. You, ex just like, you express uh, yourself how you express yourself. I told my mom, I said, fuck that shit. I said, listen, if you don't get me out of here, I'm going to hang it up. And I wasn't <laughs> talking about the phone. I'm talking about myself. Like, right. I'm talking about, yeah. I'm, I'm going to do something to get me out of here because this place is crazy. And from there, they just looked at me. The guy who's listening just looked at me, and I'm just like, yeah. He, you guys already did what you guys did already, you know what I'm saying? So what's the worst can you guys do to me now? Now my mom knows, <laughs> now, you know? So it he, took her about like a month later to get me out of there, though. He, he didn't hang it up fast enough. I guess he was kind of shocked that she said it. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm talking about, I'm talking about like hang it up, meaning like, like, it's hard. Like, I don't know, man. It's like <laughs> hang it up how I felt there was hanging up, meaning like hang it up. Oh, oh, yeah. Yes, you you were ready to hang it up, basically, not to, not to hang up the phone. Yeah, just okay. just to yeah go in the shower and just you know go oh. up there, okay. you know, because I couldn't take it anymore. That that place was crazy. I remember people drinking hand sanitizer too. I remember a kid drinking hand sanitizer, try to <laughs> do the same thing to get out of there. I remember people there. running away, coming back all messed up, you know. Yeah. It's like, there's no way out. He was there till 18. I was 15 there. I was like, oh, man. You know? 
Now, you know, when you get, like I said, we're talking about the staff members' wives. You know, when you got a bunch of kids there, a bunch of horny teenagers, you know how that goes. You yeah. know, you're going to suppress them that way. I mean, they have to, they have to, you know, you, you can't, you can't jerk off, you know, anything like that. So, you know, what, what are you supposed to do? You know, Shit, I was. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, there was, there was a couple of uh, guys. Uh, in fact, one came on the podcast. He was, he was sexually assaulted by another, you know, I, a student. So I, I, I don't know about that right there. You know, I, I heard about, you know, kids, other kids doing stuff with other kids, but I'm not really into that. So I don't really well, didn't want to like, you know, hear about it. Okay. Know? Yeah. Yeah. yeah just, so, like, just, just don't, don't talk to me about it. Just, yeah. Like, I don't just, want any part of it. Yeah. Yeah. But I you knew it was know. going on. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. I think everybody yeah, knew. I heard, I heard a little, I heard a little stuff, but I wasn't, you know? Yeah. Yeah, that's I hear kind of, that's, that's fucked up. I'm not trying to, you know. Yeah, you rather just stay out of it and just, just, just. Yeah, because if that business. happened, then you know matters would have been in our hands. You know. The thing or is, or something. <laughs> the thing is, they didn't do anything about it. You know what I mean? No, nah, they're gonna hide everything. They're good at hiding stuff. Yeah, they talk so good. When you meet them, they look like so such nice guys, you know, and they just talk to you nice and sweet. But like when behind closed doors, they they animals. You so, know? That Jekyll and Hyde, yeah, they're nice yeah. to your face, and the minute your parents leave, okay, you're you're done, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. So. <laughs> How was the food? The food, uh, it was uh, it was all right, unless you like, unless you want brown and stuff like that. Oh, a peanut but butter. Peanut butter sandwich, just yeah. a strip of peanut butter, like a uh, cardboard box, I should say, the, the Cheerios, but no sugar, nothing. Just the Toastios, Cheerios. yes, Toastios. Yeah, 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 those, <laughs> those taste like cardboard boxes. Uh, that's horrible. Oh. But the food, I remember like Thursdays we had, um, Thursdays we had spaghetti. I still remember that. I used to hate that after a while. Right. Sundays we had like burgers and stuff like that. But Sundays it's just every single week though you know so yeah you had church of course yeah church yeah what a <laughs> yeah what a waste like, of time that was. Just, after a while you just like just like i don't know like, god make us like this is what god want us to do like this is it's not you know? <laughs> yeah you know? and of course being that they're they're baptists that's that fire and brimstone you know every, you're going to hell you're a sinner you know, yeah. You look at the other, you look, yeah. You look at the girls and you go, "You're whores and everything, and you're not worthy and all that." They're trying to brainwash you, you know. Doing well, actually, you actually, no. It's not brainwashing. You got to be intelligent to brainwash somebody. It's 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 basically mind control. They're trying to yeah. They're trying to install fear in you, and you know, that's that's the Baptist way, though. I mean, I I grew up in the Baptist religion. That's that's their way, man. You know. You you we used either, to call it, you know how it's in misery. Um, Missouri. We used yeah. To call it misery. Misery. Like, misery. Yeah, this is really <laughs> misery. That's what we used to always say. Like, but you know, I'll tell you though, they're they're trying to introduce legislation right now because of uh, because the Kansas City Star has been also doing uh, uh, reports on agape. And they've had guys come come over there and give uh, interviews with them, and they're trying to introduce legislation to at least license the place. Yeah. That way, when it's licensed, that means people can come in there. The state can come in and regulate it. You know what I mean? They're still gonna manipulate it, though. They're still gonna say, "Hey, say you you have a fun here, and agape is all right." Or if you say something bad, then you're gonna get restrained. I don't know if they still do restraints, but I know. Right. Well, they might be able to try that, but you know, if if somebody from the state comes in and you see a a a, a boy with bruises and welts on his face, you can't hide that. You know what I mean? They they, they, they can hide you. <laughs> they hide you. They hide me. They hit me before they can hide you and isolate you. You know? Yeah, but but if the state's involved, they can't hide you. They'll they'll go around. They'll look everywhere. 
They'll find you. Hopefully, man. Yeah, they hopefully. Yeah. They need to put cameras there or something so they can see what's going on. Well, there, are, know? there are cameras there. That's the thing. They do have cameras. They have cameras? Whether it's being recorded or not is another story. You know, it just... It just... Uh, you know, they're probably... They in there. Yeah, they're probably... They've been doing in there. They're probably using the cameras for surveillance, basically. Uh, I'm not sure if, like I said, I'm not sure if they're recording it. If they are, well, <laughs> I hope they find it. But um, there are cameras in there. We've had a couple of, uh, I had a kid who was just in there last year on the podcast. And, yeah, there are cameras in there. So, but, you know. Sooner or later, Jordan, they're gonna get they're gonna get their they're gonna get theirs. You know what I mean? Enough of Me these too. enough of these podcasts come out, and you know Kansas, like I said, Kansas City Star is also doing it. And this, they're gonna they're gonna hopefully, if not if they don't regulate them, they're gonna shut them down. You know what I mean? They need to shut them down. They don't need to regulate it. They need to shut it down. Why? That, why should they make money off of this? Yeah, that's true. They 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 should be shut down, still regulated. But you know, if if that if that's what they can do at that moment, at least it's a start. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. it's a start. And hopefully, in the future, they'll eventually shut them down. Yeah. So we can hope for that. Hopefully, you know? fingers <laughs> crossed, man. <laughs> so how how's your life doing now, Jordan? Doing all right. Uh, I'm, doing, I'm doing all right for myself. I have my own place, you know. Uh, I'm, I have my CDL uh, test in um, like a month from now, so I'm just preparing for that. It's pretty much it, you know. Yeah, yeah. So you you still keep in contact with some of your some of the guys there? No, I don't keep in contact with anybody. It was only like a few of us, a few like three New York people that was over there. Yeah, but how can you get how can you get in contact with anybody if you don't? There's a fa there's a Facebook page. Oh yeah, I'll, I'll I'll give it to you as soon as the podcast is over. Okay, that way you can go on there and, and yeah talk to them. So right. yeah, so uh, as far as uh, Gape, is, is there any any other things that you experienced? Oh. Uh, before I forget, do you still have a good relationship with your parents? Not necessarily. Not no. necessarily. No, nah, not really. Cause they they never understand how it feels to be there, you know. And I, and every time I, I talk to them, even to this day, I still bring it up, and I tell people about it, and I express myself about it. Just. I don't yeah. think I deserve to be there. I was a kid. I was just doing regular kid stuff. Yeah. You know? Something a normal <laughs> teenager does, you know? Yeah. That, it kind of still messed me up to this day. I'm kind of still trying to get over it, you know? Right. Like, yeah, so. Well, you know, coming from a parent's point of view, Jordan, you know, parents, parents fuck up. You know what I mean? Yeah. They do. Yeah. And, you know, uh, like I tell my kids, you know, all I can say is, you know, please forgive me, you know? And if if you if you do you do if you don't well I guess it's something you got to live with but just understand because I know there's a lot of a lot of a lot of agape guys out there some have great relationships with their parents but then there's some who who don't even talk to them because agape has basically just destroyed that relationship with them you know agape like destroy trust kind of yes. you know yes kind of like no 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 and it, it fucked me up. It still fucked me. It, it's it just my mind is still not the same. I don't know about anybody else. And my mind is, I always think about it. Got Even though I'm not there, it's been like so long, you know. Every night I lay down and I put my arm down and my arm falls asleep, you know. And I got to keep rolling over it till, you know. Yeah. Like, they may have uh, done some damage to some of the nerves. Yeah, like they really, they really. Hitting those pressure points, yeah. Two hours. Two hours. That's I don't know if anybody ever told you, but two hours. The worst pain of my life. You will understand. I get like my like I get like emotional when I talk about it because it's just like, how could you do that? I was fifteen. You know what I mean? Like, come on, yeah. two hours yeah. of that? That was crazy. 
Like I said, they they enjoy inflicting pain. That's what they love to do. And your parents are paying for them to do it. But your parents probably didn't know that it was going on. But then again, you never talked to them officially. It was basically Agape talking to them, saying, Well, you know, we're working on it. He's still a troubled team. We're, you know, we're trying to work the kinks out. He's still, you know, giving us trouble, but hey, we're taking care of it, you know. And and your parents are, they believe it because of your past. But it was it, it uh, wasn't you know, be, it was it probably wasn't because they they didn't believe you. It was probably just out of sheer ignorance because Agape would lie to them. You know what I mean? They, very well. And and very the, well. and your phone calls were monitored so you couldn't tell them. So they pretty much believed what Agape was telling them, which is not their fault when you think about it. But it does destroy the 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 you know parent son relationship. Yeah. Because Agape pounds it into their head that you know we're working on their trouble. They're still you know we're having to fix them. And when you come out and tell them this happened and this happened. Well, that's not what Julio or Brian just told me. Like, yeah. 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 Look at you like, no, no, this can't happen. You're, you're just making up stuff. You're making it up. For yeah. real? No. No, yeah. I'm not making it up, man. Yeah. All, all I can say, Jordan, is, is you know, even though, I mean, even if the relationship isn't good, there's still a spark there, I'm sure. You know, you still, you still, yeah. you still talk with them. Yeah, 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 you know? yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, so, but it's still just still, you know, that agape in the back of my mind, like he sent me to agape. That's crazy, you know. Like, well, I could I'd rather went, I'd rather go to jail than go to agape. Oh, at least in jail, you could talk, you could get three hots of the watch couch, TV. watch TV. <laughs> yeah, you could do other stuff over there. You can't do nothing. It's just yeah. misery. Yeah, like, all just, all in the name of Christ. You know. Yeah, I don't even go to church because of that either. There's a lot of people that don't. Agape basically ruined it for him. Yeah, I feel like it's just a scam now. Like, now I look and say, you know, these people did this to me, you know, like, I don't know. Well, why do you think think Agape was out in the middle of nowhere? You know what I mean? Well, first of all, so you couldn't run. And if you did run, you wouldn't know where to go. I I always try to run, but I'm like, hey, I'm... Yeah, but you had the Aragapes on, so you couldn't run. <laughs> it's crazy. You know? Yeah. Yeah. It was just something crazy, too, man. Aragapes was it's embarrassing. People laugh at you, you know. Aragapes, yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> but it's, you know, I I, I, I say that, um, you know, like I said, you still talk to your parents and keep talking yeah. to them. You know, yeah. eventually, you know, hopefully it can be resolved. I mean, maybe once Agape is shut down, you can say, see, I told you. I told you this was going on. You know what I mean? You know, the <laughs> podcast now, I could, I could just show them, like, hey, look, see, I'm not lying about certain things I said about yeah. Agape. You know? Yes, they could, they could watch the other podcast as well. You know, I have yeah. like 15 or 16 of them for Agape. You know, these kids are, are saying pretty much the exact same thing. So, you know, of course, for their own personal experiences, but what they saw. You know, it's the same thing. Yeah. How, how can these kids who've never met each other, well, some who haven't met each other, from different decades, have the same story? The same thing. Exactly. It's crazy. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. I don't know, man. Agape is crazy, man. <laughs> I just keep thinking about it. Like Agape, is really, I get nightmares sometime at night, and thinking that I'm I'm there and I'm waking up back in there, and I'm like, oh man, I gotta. Agape is crazy, man. Yeah, there's a lot of. A lot of guys that say that they they have the nightmares and they they, they dream that they're still there or they're they're there as an adult. I'm like, wow, that's, yeah, that and you're not you're not leaving until you. <laughs> I yeah. remember they said you're not leaving until you're 18. I'm 15. I'm like, oh my god, I'm gonna do a three year bid in here. It's just crazy. Yeah, no music, no nothing, no not no contact of the outside world. That's how they brainwash you. Man. After a while, you think you start believing it, and then you're like, nah, I don't believe. Pretty much, no. no TV, no no newspapers, no nothing. You know, so yeah, all you're doing is being fed religion, religion, religion. Yeah, and it, it yeah, it 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 breaks you. 
but they make the place look so nice and it's not even a lot of places that the kids get to go you know yep i was always in trouble like i said at the beginning so i never really like uh had fun like playing basketball and stuff and it's weird when you play basketball or you interacting with other kids you can't really hide a lot because they're going to think that you're trying to you get what i'm saying start something or i don't know they just don't like you huddling up so. well i mean look what happened you raised your arms and all of a sudden they, they restrain you because they say you're throwing your arms around Swinging. oh my god oh mm-hmm. these guys you know jordan Dude. Uh, fuck the licensing. Just shut them down. <laughs> just shut yeah, them down. yeah, yeah, yeah. Just yeah, shut them yeah. down. <laughs> I have more stuff to say, but it just like I just think about when I talk about a guy, I get like in you know, like a daze, and yeah. I kind of like picture me back there. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like I don't know. Sh- shut it down. <laughs> you know because shut it down, man. Because that place is really it's worse. Hello. Yep. There you go. All right. It's worse than what people saying it is, you know? Like, whatever whatever they're saying is 10 times worse. For yeah. Real. No joke. So. Yeah. And I, I did a, a podcast with some of the girls from Wings of Faith. It's just as bad there, too. You know? Yeah. So. It's. They look sad, too. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You used to see them, they look sad. Like, everybody just sad. Just like, I mean, we, we, when you're coming from a world where you can listen to music, you can you know do whatever you want to do, stay up as late as you want, whatever. Go to a place like that where they restrict everything. Everything they don't even, even like slowly take it. They just yep. take everything. even your speech. You know, they just take it away. That's yeah, that's hard. Yeah, that's cool. hard on a kid, especially a teenage kid. You know what I mean? When that's when you get. When that's minds, when you're supposed to talk. Yeah, yeah it's when their minds are still to talk, interacting. I don't know, man. Yeah, when humans. I think back, it's, it's kind of like, still to this day, I'm kind of like to myself, you know? I don't really like talk around crowds. I don't really don't like crowds. I'm like always isolated, you know? So. Yeah, yeah. Gape did a big part in that, you know? So Gape was, did a big mind fuck. It sure did. Yeah. 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 I don't know about anybody else, but me, my mind is body too as well, you know? Yeah. That restraint was crazy. You know, I just want to come here and talk to you about the restraint because I don't think anybody ever told you about it. You know, they could probably tell you in better details than me, but you know. We I've I've heard about the what uh, yeah, we did hear about the restraints, but there's all types of restraints. There was one kid who was flipped over, you know, a couple of times in the basketball gym. There were some that were, you know, duct taped to the a pole or forced to go on the wall with cardboard. I mean just a whole bunch of stupid shit that they should have never done, you know. That got, that got me crazy. I remember bringing somebody brown town, and I think somebody was acting. I'm not too sure what he did to to get restrained, but I remember him like him bringing him down the steps and his head hitting every single step. Boom, 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 boom. Then you just hear him screaming. You know? Yeah. And those guys didn't yeah. care. You know, they just Thanks, okay, yeah. whatever. Yeah. Then they try to, then they try to make, I don't know. Then they just manipulate your mind. They try to make you like after they do it to you or whatever. They try to be like, hey, you know, uh, you know, they try to be like your friend a little bit to make you feel better, so you won't like kind of like tell on them. Yeah. To, you know. Yeah, but in your mind, you're basically going, "I go fuck yourself." <laughs> you yeah, know in my mean? mind, I'm thinking about how I'm gonna get out of here. What's what what to do like to get out of here? You know. Yeah. Yeah. They even try to like be the best person they was, the best scholar they was to get out of it. It didn't work. And the thing is, <laughs> there are some kids there that that did break. You know what I mean? They they broke them. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, and 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 want to be like uh, want to come back after they graduate. They want to come back and work there. That's weird. Yeah, I don't know why would you want to do that. And you know how you felt when you first got there. Why would you? Well, you know, you know? that's that's another story altogether. But. Uh, yeah, so you know it, it it happens, you know, and you can't begrudge yeah. them for that. I mean, they they had to do what they had to do to survive. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, uh, you know, I, if like you're I, there, eighteen, you might as well just submit and just say, you know what, I'm here to I'm eighteen. Let me just try to go up on the ranks, and that's yeah. what some people are doing. But it was all about survival, basically. You know what I mean? Yeah, you had to fake it till you make it. Some people. 
fake it till they make it the whole way and say, hey, when I go home, I'm a... Uh, I'm, I'm gonna get fucked up and I'm gonna pop these. That's when I first learned about X pills when I was there. Like, yeah, when I, when I go home, I'm gonna just pop X pills and, you know, and go crazy. But they was just like the best, they was the red shirts. And, you know, yeah. like this, I personally, like, wow, you know? Yeah. I hear you. All right. Mm -hmm. Well, Jordan, this has been quite interesting. I, I've, I, I, I'm glad you talked about the stabbing. I'm sure. Yeah. I'm sure people that w that watch this will probably remember it and comment. Yeah, on definitely, it, so. definitely. Yeah, definitely. Whoever was in my class, or who, who, when I was there, they definitely gonna remember me. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> definitely. How 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 tall were you back then? I was short. I were was you like, short? Oh. I was really scrawny too. I was I was fit, but you know, but yeah. agape makes you like. When you come out of agape, it makes you look like you came out of prison. Like people that's in agape, it was like 15, 16, but it was just jacked, yeah. Yeah. you know? So it's like, yeah. Well, if all you're doing is working out all day, I mean, <laughs> you know. You come on jack. I had a big old neck. And Did you? Like, <laughs> <laughs> well, that's probably the football too, you know? Yeah, yeah. Work the neck out. All right. Well, Jordan, thanks for coming on, man. I appreciate it. I appreciate you too, man. Yeah. Yeah, um, and I hope I hope there's uh, consolation with your parents, man. I, I really do because, like I said, it breaks my heart, man, when people tell me, yeah, uh, you know, if I when I when I ask them, could I, I ask all the agape guys, you know, how, how's your relationship with your parents? Well, we don't talk anymore. We haven't talked in ten years or something. I'm like, man, those are your parents. You know what I mean? How no, it's always gonna be it's always gonna be my parents, but you know, right. it's just always gonna you know, be that. and I think to myself, how the fuck could agape do that to you? You know what I mean? That's 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 the worst kind because that's, that's that's your flesh and blood, man. When 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 it, when a, a, an organization like that turns you against or has your own flesh and blood fight against you, man, that's just that's wrong. That's yeah. wrong, and that and that sometimes can have a lifelong effect. Yeah. You know, but that's neither here nor there. All right, Jordan, stay on the line, okay? I'm gonna. Right. I guess I want to give you that uh, information. So, like I said, everybody, I want to thank Jordan for coming on. Everybody who uh, is watching, please subscribe to the channel. The channel is growing and getting the word out there. If you want some more of this content, and uh, make sure you give a give it a big thumbs up. And for anybody who wants to come on, the number is on top of the channel page. Give me a text. Don't call me. Text me because I can't. I can't uh, do any calls on that phone. So, just text. Text me. And let me know uh, if you want, when you want to come on, and we'll get you on. All right. So for the Hammer Podcast, I'm Jason. You take care of yourself, and you take care of each other. <laughs>